it's a refresher. It's a refresher, it's a psychic 101, it's a law of attraction 101, it's a conscious thinking deliberate creator 101. Like we're gonna start from the beginning because it bears repeating. And one of the things that's come up multiple times, even last week, I have Tranquility, which if you don't know, Tranquility is another group of mine, it's a free group that we are diving in a little deeper. Um, to different aspects of spirituality and different courses and different books and all that jazz. And we're in A Course in Miracles right now. And I was reading through my book and there was a section where Jesus was talking about talking to us, the reader, and saying, listen, I am a teacher of sorts, a guide of sorts, having done something first, not a teacher or a guide with more knowledge or capability. I am a guide that's gone first, and, and, and I respect your pace at learning. I respect where you are with regards to your process of unfolding, and I'm not going to sit back and judge that process of unfolding because it does no justice to you. It only restricts your process of unfolding, right? And so in the book it says you're going to have things repeated to you because it might make sense now, but not fully. And then the next time it'll make more sense, but not complete. And then the next time it's like, boom, where have I been not hearing this before? And it's something that we have to remind ourselves. It's okay to go back and to do something again and again and again and again. And it's okay to teach something to your audiences again and again and again and again. Because everybody's where they are in their journey and everybody's where they are in their experiences. And some aren't even having the same experience they were having last week. But what you say, again, might actually resonate with them differently in their now moment. So <clears throat> us going back to the beginning, sort of speak, and really looking at what this is. This is a, this is a space of mental awareness. End of story, mental awareness. Because the more that we can become aware of what is happening within ourselves, um, with what's happening physically, emotionally, right? When we can become more aware of what's coming up around us and we can stop the blaming or the judging or the criticizing of ourselves and instead take note. Hmm, this is coming into my awareness. I wonder why, hmm. This is happening around me, and it's been happening around me. I wonder why. When we stop and, and don't have this feeling of I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go, if we stop hustling and rushing and chasing long enough, we're going to be able to witness that, you know what? The universe is trying to show me something here. And one of my favorite lines is, hmm, what are you up to? It's my way of kind of going, I'm witnessing something that's not actually me taking place here, but it's starting to resonate, maybe trigger, rub off. I've got awareness of this, hmm, what are you doing here? What is this about? When we remember our mindset um, is going to really determine uh, feelings after. Mindset, then feelings. Mindset, long enough puts energy in motion long enough for us to then have feelings that we then become aware of right but it's going to be something we have to become comfortable with hearing first up here or seeing or having an awareness of up here okay like i said a few things have been coming up a couple times this week that i want to say you can have a really crappy week Five consecutive days of just crappiness. Being in a crappy energy, feeling like you're feeling crappy around experiences that are just like, ugh, it's crappy. But you can take a moment to step back, step inward and go, okay, whoa, I'm done thinking these thoughts in crappy energy. I'm done criticizing myself and speaking crappy to myself. I'm done having this over and over and over. I am going to shift and I am going to become aware and I'm going to do the work, whether that is action steps to remove yourself, 
energy work to work your energy differently. Mindset work that goes, I'm done criticizing myself, I'm gonna start praising myself, okay? It takes an instant for you to shift. You can have five consecutive days of crappy, have one amazing epic day of awareness, tuning in, self-observation, self-shifting and healing, and everything has shifted and changed. Energy can be reworked in an instant, but it's a matter of you trusting, and it's a matter of you believing that that is something you can experience because our ego is going to attempt to tell us that that's not true. Our ego is going to say, well, if I have five crappy days, then clearly I'm going to have to have five positive days to come out even. And that's not how energy works. Not at all. We think because we're physical and we can feel it, touch it, taste it, hear it, and sense it, that it's got to be this big, huge, monumental thing for us to be able to just feel that peace within ourselves. I had a client tell me today, and it was eye-opening. She's like, silence actually scares me. What? <clears throat> what do you mean silence is scary? How is silence scary? What does that look like? That's so intriguing. Like, talk to me about this. And it is, it is so true. Silence can be scary because what happens when we get silent? What happens when we get still? What happens when we acknowledge that we're not actually busy, we're just trying to stay in an energy that is keeping us from actually tuning into ourselves and acknowledging how we feel? What happens when we stop and we go, oh boy, all this time I've been busy, but not actually doing anything aside from preventing myself from doing healing work or energy shifting to bring in what it is I want. How many people feel like I can't manifest? I'm not manifesting. This manifesting concept is just not for me. It's not working. It's not happening. But yet they don't get still enough to kind of evaluate why or where it's not working. The guides came in with something that I'm gonna be teaching a lot deeper in a healing perspective. Tomorrow's our first lesson. Um, it started Monday with some journal prompts to kind of get everybody going, but tomorrow we're gonna to be on a Zoom with everyone in the group. And then we're gonna be talking about a lot of different things. And one of the things they wanna cover is, in order to trust yourself, you have to believe yourself. And it's so true. Like you aren't going to go and, you know, um, sit in front of a doctor per se. And the doctor says to you, oh, wow, you know, we've got to do this lengthy, you know, surgery and what have you. And if you don't believe, you're not going to trust. And if you're not going to trust, things aren't going to shift and change. Things aren't going to work. Things aren't going to resonate. Things aren't going to make the manifesting happen. You know, you have to believe in yourself. When you believe in who you are, when you believe where you are, what you're doing, how you're doing things, when you believe, then you can begin to trust. And people try to jump the gun all the time. I gotta trust myself, I gotta trust myself, I gotta trust myself, I gotta trust myself. What the hell does trusting myself feel like? What does it look like? How in the world do I do that? You start with believing you. When we do something repetitively, okay, we begin to believe because it's something that's being told to us repetitively, it's something that's being shown to us repetitively, and you can apply this with anything. You can apply this with, you know, school. And as a child, you know, every day, without fail, you did something repetitively and you learned it. Practice, 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 and it became second nature. But this practicing helped you believe, which then helped you to trust. This up here is going to be the first thing you're going to want to address. That mindset is everything. What is the mindset influenced by? Your mindset is influenced by the ego, and it's also very connected to spirit. The difference between the ego and spirit, spirit is something that you feel within you. If you're observant and you're aware, ego is something that you kind of hear outside of you. It's kind of like something from outside chit-chatting or nagging or criticizing or you know it just feels like a very outside source where spirit when you're connected to your inner being and connected to the guidance of spirit it feels within you it feels within your solar plexus your heart chakra does that make sense i want you to i want you to have an awareness 
this is an energy this week where we're like really starting to be guided by the guides into doing things and to being um, held accountable. Accountability has been something that's come up a lot this week. The accountability of, I have to show up and do work. I have to show up and take the necessary action steps to show me how to believe in myself. And then by taking the steps, building the belief in myself, I can begin to trust myself. <coughs> Excuse me, from that space of trusting myself, I can begin to build my confidence. Mmm, that feels really good. Because if I trust myself, I'm confident. I'm confident I can make it happen. I'm confident I can see it through. I'm confident I can bring it to fruition. I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident. Why? Because I trust myself. Why? Because I believe me. Do you see? Sometimes we're thrown these words by spiritual mentors, spiritual teachers, coaches, you know, all these all these places where you've got to trust yourself, you have to have confidence, got to believe in yourself. Okay, but where do you start? You start with the mindset. You start with practicing the positive mindset. You start by having an observation of what that positive mindset feels like within you. You're going to know if you're BSing yourself or not. Right? If you're honest with you, if you're teeping, keeping, if you're teeping, if you're teeping, if you're keeping a journal, you're going to see where you've repetitively said, I don't believe this. This is a bunch of BS. This is never going to work. It's never going to happen. I'm never going to get this. I always do it wrong. You're going to see where you criticize yourself all the time. Criticizing yourself pulls you right out of that energy. And awareness of it helps you recognize that. I have a tendency pull myself out of energy and I don't want to do that so now I'm not going to allow this ego to keep me from repeating to myself that I've got this that I'm confident in myself because I believe in myself because I'm trusting myself we build on these energies okay when we're deliberate when we have awareness and when we are determined they say disciplined I like determined We'll give both words to you. We're not going to give on this one. When we're disciplined and we're determined to make something come to fruition in our reality. Okay? But hands down, without a doubt, if you don't believe in you, you're not going to be able to build the trust you need. And in order to feel that confidence, you have to trust. You have to trust that you can make things happen, that you can see yourself through something, you know, that you can even get yourself out of something. You get yourself in a pinch. Right? You get yourself in the middle of something, you're like, mm, I don't really know that I should have done this, okay? There's no such thing as a mistake. You can't make a mistake. Mistakes are an ego thing. Spirit's like, mm -mm, nothing's wasted, ever. Okay, we found ourselves in a pickle. Now, trust yourself to get yourself out or to eat the pickle. Like, you can make shifts and changes. You're allowed to make shifts and changes. For God's sake, your energy. Energy makes shifts and changes. Energy ebbs and flows, right? Your energy. It's what you do. Why then would we feel weird shifting and changing? What? That makes no sense. It's okay to shift and change. It's okay to veer off and then come back to center. You know, being out of alignment, everybody's like, oh God, you're out of alignment. Oh, you're low vibration. You're low energy. Baloney. Baloney, you're in a very sensitive space where you can make things shift and change dramatically if you would only turn in to what you feel. Huge. No more of this comparison to energy levels and blah, blah, blah. Accountability is what we want. We want, I know I feel like this. And because I want to experience and feel this, I I'm going to go inward and take accountability. I'm going to go inward and make the shifts and the changes. I'm going to acknowledge that I got myself into a pickle. There's no problem. I can eat my way out of it. Or I can recreate. Or I can take this and go, detour, skirt. I'm going to shift this. This isn't where I wanted to be. No. Or dare I say it. You're an entrepreneur and you're taking risks right? You're pushing your comfort zone. 
you're taking risks, you're investing in yourself, and you're noticing that something's not working. Do you throw in the towel or do you step back and go, okay, I know spirit wants me taking risks. I know spirit wants me to push my comfort zone. I know spirit says nothing's ever wasted. What is it that I'm not allowing to flow in, that I'm not allowing myself to see what's going on? How do we get to that awareness? What do we do? Hmm? Which we can call our friend and say, oh my gosh, girl, let me tell you about my day. Let me tell you about my week. Blah, 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 then, 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 purge, 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 vomit, vomit, vomit. And guess what? Now your friend feels the way you did and nothing changed. Or your friend's like, girl, I, tell me all about it and I can help you. So she's telling me everything. She's like, oh, you just got to push. You got to push a little harder. My mother always told me you got to work, 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 work. Stay at it. Nose to the grindstone. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Your friend's at a level right like this. You're over here, maybe here. You're not at the same level. And her energy might be frayed because she's, you know, you know, working really hard and is pulled in a million directions and she's not even listening to herself. Okay? But she's gonna give you information that's gonna help rock your world. No. 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 You don't wanna vent, you don't wanna purge, you don't wanna vomit. You don't wanna go to just anywhere energetically because you're just you're gonna get information based off of where they are that day and you never know what you're gonna get. You sit in silence, you go inward, and you say, what's up with this? What's up with this? You are always connected to divine energy, always. You are divine energy. You are divine energy. You are made up of what source is. If you're made up of what source is, and what source wants flows through you, how in the world could it not happen? How in the world could it not be true? I guess it's going to depend on what world you decide to believe and trust in. The spiritual world or the physical world? You see, the physical world is going to tell you all day long, no, it's not true because it would be here. No, it's not true, because it would have happened by now. No, it's not true, because so-and-so got it. And if she's got it, how are you going to get it? See, the spiritual realm says you are divine source energy. Divine source energy is what you are. Divine source energy is what you're connected to. Divine source energy is what flows through you. You are divine source energy. Could anyone on my live, all 22 beautiful souls, tell me what it is that Source cannot do? I'll wait. What, what, what is it that is impossible for Source to do? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. That energy is everything. So everything is that energy. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You've got all that flowing through your body. Thank you, Tammy. She says, nothing, girl. Source can do all things, anything. Source is all things. It's everything. So are you. So when you catch yourself tripping that you can't make money, whoa, 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 whoa. That's like saying source can't make money. That's ridiculous. That was my ego. When you catch yourself saying, I've got love to share, right? I've got love to share. We don't really think thoughts like that all the time, so forgive me, that was a trippy one. I've got so much love to share. Wait a minute, source is love. Yes, I do, I have so much love to share because that's source, source runs through me, I've got all of it. I'm sharing love, that is source, right? If you can say that source can do it, it's all good. If you can't figure it out, go inside you. I didn't wait, Marnie says, you didn't wait. Girl, you ain't gonna come up with anything, I promise. Source can do all things, it is all things. It's connected to it all. Money comes from source, purpose comes from source, desires come from source. 
right? That beautiful car we want to manifest was thought up and designed by a being that is connected to source. It came from source. The car came from source. That house was constructed perfectly from the contractor or the company who was one person saw the vision because they are connected to source and source saw the vision. So house comes from, so you get this? Like this is so huge that we'll keep saying it so we can feel this up here because we've been conditioned in the physical world the opposite way and it's BS. Total bullshit. And I posted about a healing perspective, which is my new group course that technically starts tomorrow. And I said, I used to give myself a headache and it's the truth. I used to give myself a headache because I thought I had to control my thoughts. I had to stay very diligent about what it was I was thinking and that's a thought that I can't keep thinking. I gotta rewrite that thought, I gotta fix that thought. What's my next thought, what's my next thought? I keep thinking this, I keep thinking, okay, I want positive thinking, positive thinking, Jackie, come on, come on, come on. I even walked around with a rubber band on my wrist and every time I'd catch myself having a negative thought, I'd snap it. Physical harm. <laughs> I do not advocate for that, not at all. <laughs> Ow. Stop trying to control the thoughts. Thoughts are natural. Thoughts are happening. Thoughts are going to be your best friend because you're starting to become aware that these are things that are happening all the time and I want to be the observer of my thoughts because if I would observe how I've been thinking, I'm going to get a real good idea about how I've been feeling. I'm not fixing this first. Mm, say that to me again. I think I picked that up. I want to fix my feeling. I fix my feeling by being mindful of what's happening up here. Because me being completely checked out and absent from the majority of the thinking that I'm doing, it's just going to be neglectful on my energy. It's going to be neglectful on my emotions. And then who knows what you're going to get. It's not about controlling your thoughts. It's about programming your thoughts. It's not about holding a thought. It's about nurturing and tending to your thoughts. It's not about consciously not thinking thoughts to prevent negative energy from continuously going out. It's about only finding things, only paying attention to paying energy to what it is I want to see more of. Question, pop quiz. We want to see more things that are happening in the world. Do we watch the news? Is this negative or is this positive? If I want to see positive things, I go look for positive things. I train me, I train me, to find positive things. I train my mind to see positive things. I take responsibility for where I put my energy. And we build and we build and we build and we build until we find ourselves per 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 <coughs> predominantly thinking positive, optimistic thoughts. Now, let's be honest. Does this mean that we're head in the sand, ignoring all of what's happening around our world? No. It means I have to tune out of it long enough for it not to affect me any longer so that I can shift my energy and be a force for positive changes rather than being wrapped up in the fear and wrapped up in the stress and wrapped up in the pressure and wrapped up in the hustle and wrapped up. We don't want to be wrapped up. Nope. I don't want to be wrapped up. I want to be a conduit for source to flow through me so that I can feel positive and love and compassion so that when people are around me, they can feel that energy too. And one by one by one by one by one by one by tens of thousands we grow. And that's when we start seeing shifts and changes in our 
big world. You have to be conscious and tending to your world. Your world, big world. My world, big world. I tend to me first, then I can help the big world. I make me the priority, then I can help the big world. We're gonna keep doing this because we have to shift the perspective. We think I make a big impact in this world, I'll be happy. I go make changes in their lives, I'll be appreciated. I go out and hustle, 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 I'll make my money. No, it is so backwards, so backwards. Let's go through it again. My world, I make changes, president, CEO of my world, okay? I get this world right. All is in order and aligned in this world. And then I go out into the big world and I start to influence and make changes. When I find myself out of whack, I don't change the big world. I change me. And then suddenly it's like this crazy fluke thing that happens. Not really. The outside world changes too. When you've focused your attention on you, when you've made your alignment the priority, when you've deliberately made what you pay attention to, the things you want to see, all this other BS walks away. It goes away. It no longer wants to play with you because you're no fun, you're paying this attention. The drama has no place to stay because you're not participating in the drama. The gossip doesn't leave your face because you're not even paying mind and listening to the gossip. You're focused on your world, holding on tight to what makes you happy. Huge. But it starts up here. It starts up here. When you start healing your mental um, awareness, focus, attention, when you start healing when you start, I, don't want, I, I want to take the word healing out. What do, I, what do I want to say? When you start facing the critic that keeps talking crap up here, when you start facing, meaning when you acknowledge the critic up here and stop looking at her like she's the enemy. Okay, you're criticizing this work. Why are we criticizing this work? Why am I criticizing my work? I care about my work. Of course I want my work to be on spot, like of course, but I do the best I can do. Until you start acknowledging what your ego is trying to feed you bullshit on, you're not going to be able to dismantle it. You know, we're not going to be able to go in. We want these things to be happening. That's why we came here. Because in spirit, it's all sunshine, roses, lollipops, fun, bliss, abundance, like all the money's over there, like all of it, everything we're chasing, hot guys over there, hot women over there. All the money over there, cars, houses, you name it, it's all energy, it's like no big deal over there. It's a big deal here. That's why we said we'll go down there amongst the contrast and try to figure out how to accumulate it all, forgetting that we are actually all of it in one big, huge little body. I have it all. I am it all. And all I have to do is give my attention. If we had any inkling of how powerful our energy of attention is, whew, we would not be having this conversation. We would be thriving. We would all be living lives, um, you know, with the, 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 the most epic experiences of, uh, of all times. If we would just recognize how important our energy of attention is, where are you putting your energy? Do you know where you're putting your energy? What have you been focused on today? What's been, or it, like, I don't know. Okay, cool. That's okay too. That's a really okay answer. I don't know is okay. Because you've not been, this isn't, this is new, this is okay. So what's been going on in your world? Has it been a lot of drama and gossip and pressure and stress and also, also, also? Because that's where this has been focused. That is happening to get this in check. So go, thank you. I'm 
very aware of where things have been. Now I gotta get this right and start paying attention to what it is I do want and stop focusing meaning, stop constantly thinking about what's not happening right, what's not going right, what's not working out right. Because you thinking about it, not working, not working, not working, not working, not working, keeps it not working, not working, not working, not working, not working. But when you say, I get it, it's not working, but I'm gonna focus on what it would be like, what it would feel like, what it would look like if it did start working. And now it's working and it looks like this and it feels like this and you know we're shifting energy out of this way. We're starting to move a little bit more over here. It's law. Law of attraction says like attracts to it more of its likeness. So if we're going to focus over here, we're going to build a positive momentum over here and things are going to start to shift and change. It starts right here. We have to heal the mental mindset, meaning we have to address the mental chatter, meaning we've got to start looking at the ego. We have to start seeing it as a support system and not something that's tearing us down all the time. We don't want it tearing us down all the time. We want to take charge. We want to stay empowered. But the most empowered people, mm, wow, that's good. The most empowered people aren't empowered because they shut the world out. They're empowered because they listen to the world and they see what resonates and they move. They see what resonates and they move. They see what doesn't resonate and they pivot. They see what resonates and they move. The most empowered people in the world don't shut things out. They bring things in so they can feel what resonates and they keep going. What resonates and they keep going. What doesn't and they pivot. We gotta let go of the fear of getting it wrong, of screwing it up, not being good enough, of not being worthy enough, we've got we've to let go of the fear. We've got to stop long enough to reset. And by doing that, becoming mindful of what's not been going right, so we can start recreating, shifting, and changing so we can bring in right. We have to stop being so hard on ourselves by constantly criticizing and start positively building ourselves up. How does that, what does that look like? What does that look like? That looks like you putting your hands on your heart right now and taking a deep breath and going, I've got this. I might not know what that looks like yet, but I'm excited to find it. I might not know what that feels like yet, but I've got this. I can do this. I can do this. I'm learning every single day how to do this. This is changing for me because I'm changing this for me. I've got this. I've got my back. I can't let me down. I can't let me down. I'm focused on me. I'm only focused on me. I've got this. I can do this. I'm really good at doing this. It feels good to finally have my attention been looking for it everywhere. Here I am with myself. I'm focused on me. I can do all things. I am source energy in this body. I know because I can feel the energy flowing through me. I know because this is something that resonates, feels right, looks right, has been taught to me, you go there, you feel you, you hold space for you. Nobody else is gonna hold space for you because it's not their job to hold space for you. You hold space for you. And when we start acknowledging the ego, it starts to quiet because it's not recognizing it can bully us anymore. Not when we flip the script and now we're like, tell me more. Okay, tell me more. That's not really true because I've done this before. That's not really true because I'm learning how to do this now. That's not really true because I've got my back and I won't leave me. I'm never alone. I have guides, I have angels. I have source pulsing through me. I'm never alone. All I have to do is ask for a sign. All I have to do is reach out and feel the energy. 